as you all know if you put a 35 miller millimeter adapter dov adapter on one of these smaller camcorders like this hv20 you're going to end up with an inverted image here which uh, when you're trying to follow left right up and down very hard to focus on anything so if you have a spendy DOV adapter like the Lectus Extreme it's got the prismatic inside that converts the image however I have the JAG which is very very nice very usable very functional adapter but it does invert the image so what I thought I would do is uh, somehow hook a mirror up so I got from Amazon I got a nice little flip back which is a, a hinged mirror is what it is and on the back side here it has some 3M double edged tape so you can actually tape something on therein lies the problem I can mount that on here tape it on there but I don't want it permanent for a couple of reasons one of which I may want to use it on another camera another thing is that I will not be able to close my my uh, LCD so what I've decided to do is make a slip-on holder basically what I did was I took oh, hello I took some black tag board and I cut it the width I cut a little window in there it wraps around and slides right on like that now one thing I have a problem with it uh, slides back and forth a little bit too much so I'm going to have to put something on the back side I'm going to put a little another piece inside so it fits a little tighter but you don't want it too tight because you want to get it off hopefully once I get that so it's just is a snug fit I can take my 3M tape off I can attach my flip back on here and then when I'm done using it I can just pull the whole thing off but in the meantime it should work pretty good uh, still a prototype but then when you turn this around here then you get your mirror in there I can turn this on here maybe we see a little light we see something in there there but see that'll give me a mirror mirror image of whatever I'm looking at so what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue a piece in the back here just in here to tighten that up a little bit and then we will attach our flip back and uh, hopefully this will be solid enough so I can do a little adjustment here back and forth I'm not worried about side by side the only problem with the mirror now I've got it flipped upright but it's still left and right is uh, a little tricky to remember when you pan back and forth because that's inverted yet and actually the whole thing is inverted when you put it into your editing program but then that's an easy flip and there I've got uh, Magic Pro 17 and I have Pro 2014 and uh, right in the the uh, accessories for editing there is a little button to hit to flip it and it works real well so that's what we're gonna do so we'll get back to you in a little bit okay I have now constructed a wedge type thing 
which I will put in my holder. And what I'll do is I'll glue that in there and that's going to act like a little kind of spring. So when I glue that in there, it will be glued in thusly. So then when I go to slide this on, let me move this out of the way. I got that extending a little bit so you can see it. But now, she'll slide on snug. See, that isn't going anyplace now. And of course, I'll line that up properly and everything. But that's kind of a cheap fix to snug it up. As you can see, it just lays in there and it acts as a little spring holder. I thought that was kind of clever myself. So we're going to do that next. So here we have, I've got my little slide-on shield. I put my cardboard piece in here that's going to be my spring holder. All it is a little tag board folded in half. Got my uh, clothespins on there to hold her in place while the glue dries. And uh, after it dries, we will see where we go from there. Uh, I'm not going to pull off the 3M tape right away because once you stick that on there, it's pretty much there to stay. Once you take it off, you're not going to reinsert it without having problems. So what I will do is after my glue dries on that other thing, I will put this sucker on here temporarily with just a couple of rubber bands, then slide it on my camera to do a test. I think it will work. Uh, in the meantime, let me show you what else I made. I'll let this dry over here. Get this out of the way. I've also made, and this is out of the same tag board type thing, is a sun shield. Same type of development as on this thing here. It will slip on. There's a window cut in there. And you can put that on there like thusly. Now there again, that kind of slides pretty sloppy, so I'm going to have to cut a piece, fold it in half, use it for a little spring behind. But uh, that does a real good job of keeping the sun out of the way. I made another one that is in the process of drying during my experimentation time. This is still drying because uh, I have elastic on this one that will slide over the back of my LCD. Uh, I'm, this is my first experiment. I tried to put a mirror in this. Let's slide this out of here. And uh, that would slide on there give me a similar type thing and like I say I have a mirror in there but uh, the angle of the dangle isn't quite right it's uh, really frustrating but take that mirror out and it makes a pretty good sunshade I have more than one HV20 so at some point in time I need, may need more than one shade of some kind so there's all my little projects this is still drying and in a few minutes, we should be able to show you some results. Okay, we're back. We are back. Uh, my glue is pretty well set up. I found that when you're making up prototypes like this, don't glue or double edge tape anything until you're ready to really know that it works. That's why I have this rubber band here. I'm going to take my flip screen and I'm essentially going to just slide it underneath this rubber band. Like that. Now there's my thing. I'm going to put another rubber band around the top just so it doesn't go any place. Maybe. Ah. There, that is going to take the place of my gluing these straps down. 
So now we have a flip screen, which if you look here, there's my thing, pretend that's inverted, and if we go there, now we have the opposite. And once this is glued on here, hopefully this will be solid enough that I can do that. And I can do that so I can get a fine adjustment. I should also be able to take this off, turn it the other way, so depending on where the sun is shining, I can uh, invert my flip screen. Ah, take this off here. Take that off of there. Boy, we got crap bola. So, assuming that this is on here like this, I should be able to slide my little sucker off. That will be solid on there. And I should be able to just take it around like that and slide it back on this way. So then I can have, yeah, let's, give me a break. Take a break. So then it would be on this way. So I can flip and adjust according to where my son is at. I think that's going to work. Uh, I'm not even going to bother putting the jag on or my 50 millimeter or my zoom lens until I get this pretty much functional because it's a lot of work. So we'll get that all together and hopefully we're going to have a wonderful thing. Okay, here we have my prototype set up. Canon HV20 Jag 35E non-prismatic. Got the vibrator on there though. If I so want to do it. It's kind of a wonderful little thing. For this test we don't need it on. But you will notice that in the LCD we're upside down. So it is really hard to track. Uh, as you go left and right, you know, that's goofy. But with my little mirror on here, now that's up right there, and I, I can adjust this mirror up and down. And there again, I can go left and right, and it's a lot easier to follow what I'm doing. We can track a little better. It's, we're still left and right, it's screwy. The whole thing is going to be upside down and backwards in post. But as I said before, most programs have got a little something they can do with that. But this works out pretty good. See, I you get a pretty good clear picture of where I'm at as opposed to as opposed to totally upside down. See, that's that's not good. So I think I'm pretty happy with this. And I can close it like thusly, and I can just take it off. I can put it on the other way, if I so desire, like that, and now she'll flip up this way, if I, depending on where my sun shines. There we are. Wonderful. We're done here, I think. Uh, this may not be the perfect thing, but hopefully it's given you some ideas how you can make your own, maybe similar, probably better, but I think this is going to work out. We get a nice sunny day. We're going to take this out and give her the test. So goodbye for now. It's been just wonderful talking to you.